Why, hello there, everybody. My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from the Hermitcraft server back on Season 6 for the 34th episode, guys. And oh boy, oh boy, a lot of things have happened since the last episode. So let me give you guys a little bit of an abridged version of what's gone down since the last episode. So... I decided to do a stream for the first time in a long time. You can actually see the VOD on the channel, on the Minecraft channel, if you just go searching for it. And guys, basically, all I did is I tried to go ahead and grab myself 100 levels worth of quartz. So we tried to go for 100 XP levels just by mining quartz. Now, as you can see, I have myself quite a lot of nether quartz here. And, well, in terms of my road to 100 levels goal, uh, that went uh, incredibly well. It went incredibly well, guys. Oh, my God. So, yeah, shortly after that stream ended, Grian and Zedap actually both restocked their shops. Now, at the time of me recording this, it was a little while ago, so Grian has already gone ahead and collected the earnings from his shop. But I've got the footage of me buying all of the quartz here. 38 diamonds. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, other Hermitcraft members. I actually do need... This stupid amount of quartz. I really genuinely need it. Oh my word. Well, guys, let's go fill these bad boys up. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll have a quick look to see just how many stacks of quartz, or shulker boxes of quartz we actually have now. And there we have it, my friends. So when it actually comes down to it, when it comes down to the brass tacks, check out just how many shulker boxes full of nether quartz we have now. We have eight Full boxes plus around a half box full of nether quartz. So we've got eight and a half boxes full of nether quartz, my friends, which is just absolutely insane. And um, yeah, as a result of the death that we had, uh, I actually decided to go ahead and upgrade all of my gear to pretty much the maximum. The only thing that we haven't upgraded to the maximum yet is my sword. So yeah. Things are going down, my friends. Now, one thing I do know is that Green has apparently bought a whole bunch of shulker boxes. A lot of you guys have been saying since the last episode that he went ahead and did that. So, yep, there we go. Two blocks of diamond, which is absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. Very nice tip. Thank you very much, Green. And, uh, yeah, we've got ourselves six diamonds in there. And, oh, my gosh. Yep, these things are absolutely flying off the shelf. I mean, check it out. People are even paying with redstone dust. Not entirely sure how I feel about that, but you know what? Everything's absolutely fine. tickety boo and peachy. Yes, everything is absolutely fine. Right, I want to go ahead and, uh, like, fill in the rest of that chest, just so it looks like I've got more stock than I actually have. I don't know, maybe there's, like, some psychology 101 there or something. But anyways, guys, in today's episode, we're actually going to take a break from the skyscrapers altogether, and we're actually going to head back to an old project. That is why, my friends, for the longest time... Our aquatic base has been left, and we've got like five rooms to fill up in that base. We've got one of the, in air quotes, side rooms to do, and we've also got all four of the circular dome rooms as well. So, yeah, guys, I think today's episode, and maybe the next episode as well, I'd really like to go ahead and make some more progress with that aquatic base, just so I can say, oh, hey, I got a project done, my friends. It would be fantastic to be able to say that, so, yeah. And before doing that, I guess there's no reason why we can't go ahead and check out the other shops in the Python Empire, see if there's any profits coming our way. Okay, uh, all right, so there's nothing here, but what about our end loot shop? I'd be very, very interested in seeing if any uh, purchases have been made. For the most part, I feel like the end loot shop has been fairly unsuccessful in, uh, you know, garnering profits. But you know what? Maybe it's just a slow burner. Maybe there are people who require diamond gear, uh, you know, whether it be now or in the future. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. So we've got the high tier stuff here. No, that's all still there. Uh, we actually used some of this to uh, get our gear back. So yeah, I kind of dipped into my own stock there. Uh, we've got nothing going on in here either. Uh, oh, ho, oh, hey, hey, people have actually been buying my low tier armor. That's very interesting. I wonder if they bought it so they could combine a bunch of stuff for a much cheaper diamond cost than just going for the higher tier armor. I mean, to be honest, we don't have a lot of high tier stock, so 
maybe in a not too distant future episode, maybe we can head back to the end and do some more exploration. But in the meantime, guys, we've got ourselves a, a pretty mean amount of, uh, you know, pretty mean amount of sales going on here. Absolutely brilliant. There we go. Ha! <laughs> brilliant. I don't know who bought them, but uh, thank you so much. You are my first ever customer to my end city loot shop and i appreciate your custom there buddy whoever you are so yeah guys here we are back at base and this is the one remaining uh, side room that we've got to go and fill up we'll probably try to uh, make ourselves a proper uh what's the word i'm looking for a maintenance shaft going down to the actual spawner itself and then of course like i say we've got all four of the circular rooms still to go as well so yeah we've currently got ourselves a bedroom slash living area we've got ourselves the skeleton spawner of course and then we have an enchanting area so the question is what are we going to go ahead and put in each of these rooms now i think one of the things i mentioned previously was going ahead and trying to put in uh some crop farm slash potentially automatic farms depending on the space limitations we've got going on here uh but in terms of the rest of the rooms i'm genuinely not entirely sure now the other thing i wanted to try and do to sort of connect all of these up is to go ahead and make myself a central dome which sort of encompasses encompasses i don't know what the word is which basically incorporates this tunnel here this little uh, skeleton tube i guess now the intention is to go ahead and make the central dome into sort of a nature slash i don't know just central municipal dome which basically connects everything up together and we can finally get rid of these really unsightly bits of cobblestone right so yeah all right, so we need to go ahead and figure out just how we're gonna like lay these things out So yeah, I guess that's gonna be our first thing to do, huh? All right, folks So it's the next day recording and I kind of had some time to think about what I wanted to put in some of these rooms Now in this room in particular, you can see I've already put down some dirt and it's gonna be a very simple manual crop farm now Here's the smart idea. Okay, the smart idea is that we're actually going to go ahead and uh, put a couple of animal pens back here. So we're going to put a couple of animal nano farms back here. One of them, I don't know, maybe a chicken egg one. The other one, maybe we just put a couple cows in there. Because, I mean, who doesn't like cake, right? Maybe we could have a couple cows in there so we could get milk. And then we could have like a chicken or two or three, uh, you know, just spurting out eggs into a hopper going into a chest down here. And then, yeah, we can make ourselves some cake, ladies and gentlemen. We are, at the end of the day, we're friends with the Con Corp, right? The Convex Con Corp. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I could be producing cake and stuff. I think that could be a cool idea. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. But anyways, guys, the thing I wanted to do first is a little bit of an experiment, actually. Uh, I want to see whether or not me getting rid of these lanterns and putting them a block further down would still count as a valid light source if I put a carpet on top, okay? That is the intention, anyway. Uh, some hidden lighting around the place. I think that would be absolutely fantastic uh, because we're going to be putting the water sources beneath this because, sadly, uh, these, while they are water sources, they won't stretch to the entire load of uh, dirt so yeah let's get under here and uh, let's give it a go so we've got water like that uh, let's just like take some from like there uh, we'll put one source over there uh, yeah, let's grab a little bit more put that in there and then finally of course uh, we've got the final load right there now let's give it a go let's give it a go so uh, is that still producing light if we like carpet it all over is it going to still be good I mean, it certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, block light levels are still well above 10. So, yeah, fantastic. Okay, so that's the theory confirmed. Awesome. Right. Now then, do I have a hoe anywhere? If not, then that's just utterly stupid. Well, that's dumb. I haven't got any hoes down here, my friends. Well, I guess we can go and make one real quick. I mean... We've got some, we've got some cobbly stone and a couple sticks around here, right? Yeah, look at he do. We have such a low supply of stuff in this space. Holy lord. All right, well, anyways, we can get that done. We can get things sorted out anyway. It doesn't matter too much. So here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, let's till all of this land, get some stuffs planted upon it, and then we'll be good to go, right? So, yep, there we go. And some seedage. 
There we go. Now, I'm well aware that in the latest snapshot, even planting certain crops has new sounds. So that's really, really cool. I really like the fact that they are implementing uh, new sounds to actions that don't currently have them. I think it makes the game feel a bit more alive, which is really, really nice. So, yeah, awesome. So like I say, chicken pen, cow pen, so we can have milk and eggs. And yeah, we'll be just about good to go, right? Awesome. All right. Well, uh, all I need to do is grab some eggs. Uh, eggs are pretty easy to get. We could just go to the mall and get them. However, the cows, as we know from the last episode, the cows are probably going to be the more difficult thing to get. I could technically get some down off of my skyscraper roof, but uh, I don't know that that's a good idea. I'll be honest. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what we can do, huh? Alrighty, guys, so slowly but surely, this is all coming together, and I came to the realization as well that if we're going to be making a bit of a cake factory room, uh, we should probably get some sugar canes in, right? Because they're part of the recipe. Uh, so let's go and put this up here. We've got ourselves uh, a whole bunch of sugar cane that I just bought from Impulse. So, if the water sources are beneath here, then I should be able to... Uh, hang on, trample this crop here, and then place down sugar canes like that, yeah, I mean, we don't need that much sugar cane, we really, really don't, so, yeah, that's all we should need, in all honesty, guys, so, hang on, let's get that all done, there we go, and those can grow, uh, however quick or slow they want, basically, so, uh, in these corners, we're gonna have ourselves the, uh, the produce chests, I guess, so, you know, we could probably make this thing look pretty good, so, a few slabs here and there, rather like that. We need ourselves a couple more, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, grab these out. And uh, here's what we need to do now. Uh, we need to go ahead and uh, get ourselves the chest and hopper placed in uh, alongside the fence. And then, yeah, we can get ourselves a few eggs chucked in there, which I bought from the mall. So, yes, I am very much looking forward to this, my friends. Okay, so uh, what we need to do is we need to figure out how exactly we're going to do this. Alrighty, all that's left to do is place down the chest rather like that. And we need to just pop back here and try to make that hopper go right there and then we can go ahead and place ourselves in a fence and finally of course let's get ourselves some chickens chickity chick chick chickens right chickens chickens there we go there's one hey we got one guys we got one oh my gosh i feel like i'm being really unlucky oh there's two Okay, well, to, you know, help with the server lag, I'm not going to get, like, any more than, like, this amount of chickens. Really? Two! Two from two stacks of eggs! Oh, my gosh. How many eggs do we need per cake recipe? I can't remember. Is it two or is it three? I think it's only two. So, actually, if we're hanging around the base and people are flying around the base, then, uh, you know, all of the eggs, I mean, it should start collecting up slowly but surely over time. Well, like I say, just to help the server performance, I don't want to have, like, too many chickens here because, uh, yeah, I don't like it when it lags and it annoys me. And I'm sure it annoys other people as well, so, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so as for the cows, I think there's a couple locations where I'm pretty sure... Whoa! It's a thundering! Oh, gosh. Well, well, that's a thing. All right, well, uh, yeah, there's a couple locations in which I know there's a couple cows around. Uh, we've got ourselves a couple down here. So if I breed these up, uh, then I could probably go ahead and get away with taking one of them. Right, so here you go. Uh, right, how am I going to do this without everybody escaping? Oh, here we go. So, whoop. Hello. Come on, then, broski. Out to come. Out to come. There we go. Right, now, somehow... We've got to get you into my underwater dome. I think that's going to be a lot easier said than done. Uh, hmm. How does one normally, like, transport animals underwater? I mean, I guess technically you could maybe use magma blocks to suck them down. Ooh, this, this is actually going to be difficult. Huh. All right, I need to figure this out. Well, guys, I'll be honest, this was a little bit more complicated than I first thought because, well, I completely forgot how magma blocks worked and bubble columns in general. But, uh, yeah, I can no longer get out, which means we should be okay to go in terms of trying to get the cow down here. Now, if this doesn't work and the cow dies, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be a little bit sad. But, oh, gosh. Ah! Dolphin's grace! <laughs> oh, my God! Ah! It's a bit nuts. All right, guys. We're going to try this. If it fails, then uh, we are basically stupid. So, here we go. Uh, buddy, bring yourself down. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. Yeah! 
Oh, baby. We done did it. We got a cow. We got a cow, guys. We got a cow in here. Okay, fantastic. Right, now, how the hell am I supposed to... Uh, all right, let's get rid of them first. Oh, this... My base. Rip my base. It looks like absolute trash. Ah, there's so much rubbish going on. Hang on a minute. Hey, get rid of you. Uh, right, so get that glass placed back in. Get all of these bits of coral back in. There we go. Right, and now we need to... Oh, I wish I had a sponge block right now, my friends. Because sadly, all of these are freaking water sources now. Uh, although, to be honest, we're going to need to keep those in, right? Because we need another cow. Because I'd like to be able to breed these guys, ideally. So, yeah, no. Be kind of cool to get that done, huh? <laughs> Aha! There we go. Able to breed those guys again. So, I should be able to get away with uh, taking uh, this cow. And, uh, yeah. Let's do this thing, my friends. Same process again. We're going to get two cows in that little pen. We can start breeding them. And then all will be well. All right, buddy. Come on. Into the boat you come. All right, go on. Get in. In the boat. In the boat. Go on. Yeah, there you go. Ah, you love to see it. Right. Boop. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so all we got to do is try to do the exact same thing. I've reopened the uh, magma block water stream thing. Uh, so we should be okay to just get this guy in straight away. And then, like, get him in the pen. And then, like I say, everything will be hunky-dory. It'll be brilliant. All right, so here we go. Hello. Hello. It's off the boat we go. Oh, down you go there, brother. All right. Ah! Quickly. Uh, 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 uh. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Panic over. Panic over. Everything is totally fine. We done did it, guys. We done did it. All right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We've actually done it. We actually set out to do something, and we successfully did it. I am happy. Very, very good. All right. Well, uh, yeah, guys. We're just about done, I guess. So let's get this cow in the pen. And away we go. Bit of an awkward way of doing it, I'll admit. But uh, there we go. We now have two cows inside the pen. All right. Okay. So there we go. We got it done, my friends. And I am feeling very, very happy about it. Okay. So let's go and get these things planted back in. Uh, rather like that. And there we go, my friends. We've got a couple more chickens in there. Oh, some. Oh, they're all fully grown right in front of my very eyes. And we've got a couple cows as well, which is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I guess we'll have to leave it a few minutes because one of these cows has technically bred in the last five minutes. And I'm pretty sure five minutes is the breeding interval time. So, yeah. But anyways, guys. Yeah, when it actually comes down to it, we've actually got this thing done. We've got the milk from the cows, and when we breed these guys, we'll also have leather and food. And then, of course, we've got the chickens here. We're just going to keep the chickens like that. We're not going to breed them or anything like that. We literally just need the eggs. And then we've got the sugar. We've got the we've got the wheat as well. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all you need for cakes. I didn't even mean to make, like, a mini cake factory today, but, you know... Weirder things have happened, I guess. Weirder things have happened. <laughs> oh, absolutely beautiful, though, guys. I like it when a plan comes together and it looks good as a result. i got to say, it does feel good. So, yeah, there we go. Just putting in some more carpets because I think carpets look really, really nice in here. Makes this place feel a lot more homely, right? So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, that's that little mini project done. Alrighty guys, so what we're actually going to go ahead and do now is end the episode right here. I didn't actually realize just how much time I put into this thing combined with the start of the episode. That's the thing with recording episodes like over several days. Sometimes you lose track of just how much usable content you have for your episode. So yeah, guys. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to leave this episode as an open forum. I want you guys to head down to the comments area and let me know what you think should go in the remaining four rooms. One of them is one of the side rooms, rather like this one. And then, of course, we've got the three other circular rooms as well. Now, they don't actually have to be, you know, properly functional. They can be, like, fun and weird and wonderful, if you so wish. Uh, but, yeah, guys, basically, I want to get this thing done. I want to get this thing done. And, of course, we need to get the central dome done as well. So, yeah, head down to the comments area. Now, of course, guys, bear in mind a couple things. One, uh, we have space limitations. And two, we can't really go underground because of the skeleton spawner. So, yeah, if you're suggesting things that go underground, then uh, sadly, I can't do them. So, guys, think carefully. Think carefully. It'll be very interesting to see what you guys come up with. But for now, my friends, it is going to be time to end the episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to let me know with a like rating. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But there we go, my friends. Another pro of working around this base is XP. 
Yeah, look at that. 30 levels. Brilliant. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one.